Hey guys, welcome to Patty Puckett Pouring Art. I'm Patty. Today I'm going to be doing a sandwich pour. And I'm going to be doing it on a used canvas, a 16 by 20. Um, I'm going to do one cup. Um, I hope I have enough paint. I'm going to be using a lot of white. I want a lot of white negative space in this pour. Um, I am going to be putting spot on treadmill in each one of the cups except for the white. So I'm going to do that right now. Um, my mixture is Floetrol with the paints. I'll go over the colors and my medium is Floetrol and water pretty much. So I'm going to put... It comes out fast so I have to be careful with this. piles up, leaves a trace for maybe two seconds. So I try to get all the paints the same consistency. Um, this color right here is a mix between Basics um, Phthalo Green and Liquitex Cadmium Yellow Light Hue. These two together make this really pretty green. <clears throat> this is Creative Inspirations Payne's Gray. This one is Basics Bright Aqua Green. This blue is Deco Art Extreme Sheen Sapphire and Golden Manganese Blue Hue. These two together. And this one is a metallic and it's Metallic Chocolate Brown by Folk Art. So that's the colors I'm using today. My white is Flow Acrylic Artist Loft. And anyway, so let's get started. Okay, I did decide to put a little base coat down. I'm just gonna spread it out. It doesn't have to be even. I hope to cover the whole thing with the paint anyway. So uh, my negative space is not gonna come from this. So I'm just using a silicone brush that and I'm just going to spread that out. I don't need it thick or anything like that. Just to make the paint move easier. I'm really excited. I'm going to be going to Boston and another friend decided to go. So there's three Amigas going on our annual girls trip. We're going to go to New England. Hopefully see the colors. Boston, we're going to Cape Cod, Martha's Vineyard, up to Rockport, New Hampshire, we're going, we're just going to sort of wing a lot of it. We're going to just stop at whatever cute little town we want to, find some cute little towns, and just grab a place at that point. So... We only have a week, so we'll be doing a lot of driving and trying to see everything. But we always have a great time. Uh, last year, I'm glad we went to uh, Oktoberfest because they're not having it this year. So I'm glad we did that then. I'm just going to move this out of the way for now. So I'm going to do two sandwich pour cups and I have a third one if, if I need. We usually go out of the country, but since we got COVID and messed everything up, hey, let's go see the fall colors. I've never been there. Where I live, the colors are really pretty too, and they're actually, some trees are already starting to change. I live in the Sierra Foothills, about 2,000 elevation. The weather's been super nice lately, but it's supposed to get hot again this weekend. Okay, I'm going to put some more of this in. So anyway, in the description, 
comments if you want to comment if you're from that area and you know like what what should I see if there's something I shouldn't miss please give me some pointers even on a route we're coming into Boston knowing we're gonna go north and south I think I want to go north first just because if there is any colors it's just a better chance of seeing them but I don't know so if you have any little towns you can recommend I would appreciate it I know Sarah Mack was going to give me some suggestions Speaking of Sarah Mac, I want to show you something. Let's get all that out of there. Okay, I think that's it. <clears throat> um, speaking of Sarah Mac, I don't want to get my hands all messed up. I have a, um, well, I was going to have you guess what artist, but I just sort of told you. You would guess anyway. I got this beautiful painting from Sarah Mack, The Straight Poor Queen. Anyway, it's a 24 by 24, and I hope to at some point have a wall clear or part of a wall and put my favorite artist's work up. Um, I have a couple more artists I have, and I'll show those in videos coming up. So I have probably about, I don't know, 10 more to get. Okay, so let's get going on this. See what happens here. All right, so I'm just gonna pour and hope I have enough white for a negative space. Let's do it. Greedy cup. And then this one. Get the corners, they're always the hardest. I have some corner catchers over here if I need to use those, which I might on this one. see what we got I'm not I'm just afraid um, I would like to tilt that off but I'm afraid if I do that then I'm gonna I mean it's sort of already messed up I think it's not what I hoped it would be I think sometimes when you use too much paint and you have to tilt it off then you're sort of messing with your design Good and bad about too much paint. Let me go ahead and give it a torch and see see what we have here. See. So I'm gonna wait a little bit, torch it, and then I will bring you back. And at that point, I'll decide if I want to go ahead and tilt it more. Um, get some of this off right here. 
which will open up some of these cells or go ahead and torch it again and leave it but I'm gonna give it about at least five minutes and I'll be right back I'm back I think I'm going to go ahead and just tilt a little bit of it um, it didn't really change I'm gonna see if I can tilt some of that off let me see how far I can do this without totally messing everything up. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it. I don't know. I don't know about this. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna try to figure out what I wanna do and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I decided to do a swipe from the top down towards me. Um, I'm using all leftover colors, colors that I needed to use up. So I'm not quite sure. Most likely they're Floetrol with water, possibly some little GAC 800 colors. I sort of mix some just so I would have enough. Um, this color is the same as what's in here. Other than that, I got a gold brown, a metallic brown, deep blue, a bronze, copper, and another green that's similar, a little, little more limey. Then I'm going to swipe with black, artist lock black. I'm going to use paper towels, just get them wet, give them a squirt. Let's get going. So I'm going to do it this way. So I have to make sure when I pour it on that I'm not, um, I won't let it go over. So we'll see how that goes. Just stay closer to right here. I made these paints a little thinner also because you want your paints thinner if you're going to do a swipe. By the way, if anybody ever comes to Northern California, give me a shout. I'll be happy to refer you to where I think you might enjoy visiting here. It's a beautiful state. I've never been here. Also, if anybody ever visits the Big Island, I'll be happy to give you some tips on that since I go there quite often. When you're swiping, try to keep going. Don't stop. If you stop, you will get a line this way. You can see I slowed down right here. So if you can just keep going, that it'll be better. All right. I'm going to have to be adding more black here pretty soon. That's definitely, definitely better than what I had before. This color blue with that black is just really cool. So don't give up on your pores. You can always swipe over. I don't know if I wanna, I don't think I'm, I'm not even gonna torch this. 
Well, I might need to a little bit. <clears throat> I'll probably do it off camera. There's some bubbles here, but I'm going to wait to see what happens first. Okay, well that turned out pretty cool after all. Sort of looks like space up here. Yeah, I might try to do something with those colors. The blue and that, this other blue and the black. That might be a nice universe space pour of some sort. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I, you know, like I said, never give up. This was a process when you're doing any kind of a regular pour, sandwich pour, flip cup. It's at the mercy of the paint. <clears throat> Things just aren't right. Um, that's what happens. You end up, uh, but remember, you can also do a Dutch pour over it. You can do a puddle pour. You can do, well, the swipe. You can do any Shelly art technique over it. But I'm going to bring you down, and thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Shop my Amazon links. And I hope you have a great night. See you later. Bye.